Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Uh, just, to, just before we look forward to the, the spot at Moscow game, a quick reflection on, on the weekend. Uh, you, your team are in fine form, great victory. It was, a, it was a strange end to the game. Can you can you enlighten us on what was said between you and uh, Chris Hooten at the yeah, end? Yeah, actually, I'm quite happy about that because it was just a misunderstanding, nothing else, um, and um, it makes sense. Nobody asked me after the game, so I could have killed the discussion immediately. Um, I have to apologize, not that I did something um, wrong on purpose, it just happened. So I wanted to go to, to Chris and shake his hands and then Mo Salah passed my way. And um, exactly, and then I gave him a hug and um, yeah, then Chris, I don't know, I wasn't too happy about that in this moment. And, um, and, and then I, we, I, I, we shake hands and he said um, what he thought and what I think as well. That I have to shake the hand of the of the manager at first, but it was not how I said not on purpose. And um, after the game, I I wanted to see him. It was he was not there, but I spoke to his assistant. And I, from I think and I hope from uh, that everything is fine. I was for sure one or two times in my life in my life disrespectful, but I would never be in a moment like this disrespectful. So it makes absolutely no sense. So I can only can say apologies. It was not my intention. On the pitch, just that Coutinho free kick, is that something that he works on? Is he, is he one of those types of players that can do that? That's too well in training. You, 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 you train um, free kicks with a, a different wall. They have where they jump, they have wheels. Though so they cannot train that really. But um, no, I said it after the game. It was, um, we are probably all, we are always as good prepared as possible. But if you see something like this, if the analysts show you something like this, um, yeah, then you still need to have the situation and you need to have the, the courage to do it because this free kick in a wall is, if they don't jump, it looks a little bit, I would say, uh, not too nice. And um, so he did it and uh, it was a fantastic goal, of course. And this game against Spartak Moscow, in the, in the context of your season and given how big December is and the amount of matches, how... How important, how big is this game? The game. The it's game. The, the, the game, whatever you want. That's uh, just um, because we we are only part of the, the Champions League because we want to go to the next round. So um, all good and bad things that happened so far in the Champions League, mostly good, um, brought us in, the, in this situation, having a home game. Um, and if we win, we are we are through, so that's that's cool. And I know that a lot of people probably you know, tomorrow before the game or in the game think, "Well, oh my God, we could already be through." But it's that's not life. It's not if and when. It's um, it's about the the moment. And um, Sparta could, by the way, say the same. Um, they they gave four points away against Maribor, um, and uh, they would be in a different situation then. And so it's. Um, it's how it is, and I'm really looking forward to it. And it's it's, it's very important. And they are. Um, I think we are stronger than we were when we played them, but they are stronger as well. They are in a good moment in the league. They have important players back, um, very important offensive players back, and um, so it will be an exciting game. That's how Champions League should be. Um, is that a shame that it might have an impact on the Premier League match at the weekend? Then, because Sam's already said that he's going to rest all his players. I, I appreciate you know the importance of the Champions League, but <laughs> look, winning a game is always good for each team and squad. Losing a game is always bad for each team and squad so I but I I, am, I don't have the resources to, to think about the, the, the game on Sunday already um, we have enough time after the after tomorrow night um, to think about that and we will be prepared then for that game but, and I don't believe in, 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 in this kind of influence we want to go through and we have the chance to do it so we will not hesitate to to line up our best team what we did by the way in the last, uh, what we did always so far, even when we changed a lot, we, we, it was always about um, bringing in these players to yeah, to have the, the concentration, to have the skills and to have the fresh legs to, to win the game. Thankfully, it worked quite well in the last few games. 
and that's what we will do again. We will prepare this game, we will line up for, for the game tomorrow night and we cannot line up for the derby as well in the same moment. So in terms, just finally, of the personnel then, obviously you had a, a lack of central defenders for the Black Mark. Did it look any better, this yeah. one? Yeah, they look better, much better. They were on training yesterday. I, I, I expect them in training today. Um, so um, Ragnar and, and Joe uh, are back, and um, Joel Matip not, Adam Lalana not. Yeah, I hope that was it. So, so as far as I know. When you said Ragnar and Joe back, did you say? Yeah, yeah Joe. Joe and yeah, you put Joel Matip out. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Welcome. From being? Yeah. Jürgen? So, uh, how do you make sure that what happened in Seville doesn't happen again when you play Sparta, the second half? First of all, there's absolutely no reason to think about that. I cannot um, think before each game about a 3 0 lead and then that uh, the other team will come back. I said already in. In, in Seville, probably, if, if we would have been 3 and up at, at, at Anfield, it would not have happened. The atmosphere helped a lot. That's what I think a little bit more about, that I really think that the, the atmosphere can and should help us tomorrow. We all know how special this place can be uh, in specific moments, and that's what I'm looking for, actually. That's what I want. That's what hopefully everybody knows. Thank God it's a little bit cold, so everybody needs to move. Um, and um, to, 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 to keep, keep it kind of warm. So um, I'm, really, I'm really excited about the opportunity. So having a game like this, you, you don't have guarantees in life. The only thing, if you don't try all, you get nothing. So let's try all and then we will see where it leads us to. Okay, gentlemen on the front left. Uh, Hi, Jürgen. Uh, I'm Kai Kahiyari from your sports from Brazil. Uh, back in my country, uh, people are wondering about Coutinho's future. I know you have, might have answered this question many times, but uh, I'd like to ask, uh, what makes you sure that Coutinho will be here in February? Um, nothing, but I don't think about it. I think about the Moscow game, so um, to be honest, not one second that I thought about that um, so far. So, I'm not unsure, I'm not sure, I don't think about it. That's, I have a team to prepare for tomorrow night and nobody knows what in January, nice and calm transfer window will happen in all the teams around the world. I'm not sure if you have ever been here. In the transfer. It's nice from outside view. And um, so, no, absolutely, okay. nothing to say about that. Just in terms of eight matches unbeaten, um, and the, this, this rotation continues because the amount of matches, obviously, Jurgen, are you beginning to see? Partnerships develop between between players. Would that influence your your thinking? I mean, the way that the likes of Salah and Firmino linked up at the weekend was was something special, really. Does that not influence your thinking ahead of the, the next game? The way they play together. Yes. No, it it has, but it's it's not. Thank God, it's not the only relationship which rep, um, developed. So it's um, we are in a part of the season where you should see that we work together. So far, uh, that would be. We, we, there was no moment um, when we had to make a complete new start, like uh, saying, "Okay, come on, forget everything we did so far." We had the, we had little drops, uh, games um, which were not as um, as good as we should have expected. And um, Tottenham is the most obvious one because it was an eleven versus eleven situation, not like Man City. Yeah, with 10 versus 11, so um, yes, we, we had this, but um, we learned of it, that's what we always try to do, And uh, but that means, unfortunately, not too much for tomorrow night, because all, all the things we are talking, or most of the things we are talking about, like shape, moment, and, and stuff like this, is the past. And we need to prepare for tomorrow, so that's, that's different, and uh, there are human beings, I'm really happy about that, but uh, as well, they, it's not. We should not take it. I cannot take it for granted, and the boys cannot take it for granted. We have to prove um, our quality 
every day and especially every match day. And um, so tomorrow is a very important um, match for us. I don't want to make it bigger than it is, but it is very big. So, and um, with all the things around, with all the excitement and unsureness before a game and, and all the opportunities in the game. And um, so I'm really happy about this opportunity. So is it impossible Alan, sorry, there is a final one at the back of the room and then we're going to bring Sadio in. So definitely in the back. <coughs> What did you say about <laughs> if they ask the question? What is your job then? <laughs> Sorry. Yes, you have to shout. Uh, who, who do you think will win the Ballon d'Or on Thursday? Wow. Who is nominated? <laughs> the same. Well, who is the third one? Coutinho. You don't know. <laughs> Are they all nominated? I think you are really good prepared. So you have no clue who is nominated and ask me the question. <laughs> good. Sorry, I'm not really in the. I don't know too much about it. Um, so no, no clue. Probably Messi, huh? or it was Cristiano. We have all. So who are the favourites? Uh, Messi, Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. Check recorders on. Yeah, yeah, see you. Bye. At the moment, not not starting games. Didn't uh, didn't get on against Brighton and a late substitute against Chelsea. You're feeling the frustration. <laughs> good question. Honestly, every each player in the world would love to, to play every single weekend. But we also we are Liverpool, so we are a big team and many good players. So we have to also accept the, the, the decision of the coach and also respect your teammate and the club as well. And because we are doing great, great, so it's the more important. And always the team is the first. And are you seeing this squad improving game by game? You're eight matches unbeaten now. There's some real quality in there, isn't it? Is this the best squad in terms of quality that you've been around? Yeah, of course we have um, great players, and every single game we improve in, and that's why we're working. By the way, that's why we're working hard every single day in the training, and hopefully we're gonna keep going this uh, good runs. Obviously, you hope to play uh, tomorrow in that in that the big Champions League game, but also looking ahead to the Merseyside derby at the weekend. That's a special game to play in, which you you really want to be a part of. Or? I think um, every single game for us in the season is important because um, yeah we have to win. And, but at the moment it's too early to speak about the derby and we're going to concentrate for the <laughs> tomorrow game and try to do our best and win the game. Is it the biggest in the context of the season for you? One of the biggest games <laughs> for us. Sadio, explain the sort of pressures involved in this game because you know if you win, you can top the group, you go through, that's great. And if you lose, you're out. So explain how you're feeling about this. I think it's an exciting game and a very important game for us. And um, we also have a great team and we know, all know it's going to be a tough game but we can beat any team in the world. So we're going to we're gonna try to do our best and win the game tomorrow. Um, I spoke to one of your teammates the day when we've spoken about how good Mo Salah is, but he was saying how the rest of you all need to get a few more goals. Is, is that fair? Say again? One of your <clears throat> teammates was saying how Mo Salah obviously scores a lot of goals, mm. but how the rest of you maybe should be scoring a few more yourselves. Is that yeah, fair? honestly, we are a team and I'm happy for Mo, he's doing well and he's a very important player for us. He's we are very happy to, to for him to is scoring especially goals and we're going to try to hit him to score more goals and also us to, to make assists and score more goals. And just one more if I may. We saw Philippe's free kick on Saturday that went under rather than over the wall. Tell me about on the training ground about free kick practices. Do you get involved? Do you give some ideas? How does it work? <laughs> yeah, Philippe is uh, one of the best players and I can't say in the world and Freak is just amazing, and uh, I always always try to to, 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 to to learn from him. But I think he don't want to help <laughs> teach me. Eh? But today he will do it. <laughs> yeah, we always he's always practicing, and that's why in the game is very easy for him to score. Thank you. Thank you.
Uh, just a quick one to start with, because the last time we met, you told me that you were race with more. So who won the race? Today, today. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do it today. We forgot what we're gonna do today. So. Okay. And another one. Is it really important to top the group? Because well, there are some big teams who will finish second, like Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. Yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, for us, I think it will be very important because we, we are a good team and. We can be, and I think uh, it's still possible. So we're gonna try to, to to do it tomorrow. And yeah. Sadio, obviously the club yet to lose at Anfield this season. Just just how big a part of the fans play in that? I think we. I think I can say we have uh, the best fans in the world, and they're just amazing all the time. You know how is Anfield ground all the time. I think they, 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 they play a big part, big part uh, of the winning every single game. So I think, uh, yeah, it's very important for us also to, to, to fill them behind all the game. And, yeah. Okay, do you have any other questions? Sadly, when you see some of the teams that are already through the competition, do you think that the group belongs with the elite clubs of Europe? And you see the teams that, are already, that have already progressed to the knockout stages. Do you think Liverpool's name <coughs> deserves to be amongst those? Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, every game is important for us and we have a big squad and that's why we have this squad and uh, we improve improving also every single game and uh, yeah, I think we're going to do our best every, every game because it's not only the league or the Champions League, even the cup is all, also important for us and I think we have squad to win things and we're going to do our best. <coughs> Any final questions? Do you think it's too long? It's about eight, nine years since Liverpool once reached the knockout stages of the Champions League. Is that is that too long for a club of that size to be able to really? Be... I don't. I can't hear you. Sorry. Sorry. It's a long time since Liverpool have reached the knockout stages of the Champions League. Do you think it's that's they've been out of that knockout stages for too long? Would they go on in the knockout stages? I think. Um... Not maybe not so important for us, but uh, it's uh, tomorrow game. And I think, like I said, we have team to 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 to, to be uh, in the top of the group. And honestly, I think uh, we can do it, and we will do our best. And even though even it will be a very hard game for us, but uh, it's still possible. Okay. Any final questions? Okay. No. Thank you very much, everyone.